Today on Something to Whine About, we are whining in particularly festive fashion. We are in lovely downtown Bensonville, and we're out on their little village square they have here outside their village hall, where they are having a summer concert in the park series. And the place you see behind us is a lovely cafe that we're going to be featuring today, known as Two Chefs. That's right. We're here on a beautiful summer evening. We're going to enjoy some great music, as you can probably hear in the background. We're also going to sample some of the wonderful food. And of course, we're going to be discussing wine. Yes, naturally, it's inevitable. That's right. When you see Jeff and I, wine is in the immediate future. That is true. Today, keeping with this sort of summery evening, we are talking about Pinot Grigio as our featured vino. That is yes. correct. And in fact, Jeff and I have a special place in our hearts for Pinot Grigio. It was the very first wine that we ever featured back on show number one wow. of Something to Wine About. Yes, it was. Because we love it so much. That's true. Time to revisit it. It is. And why do we love Pinot Grigio so much, Jeff? Because there are so many things to love about it. It's a very diversified bottle of wine. Depending on where it comes from, it can range anywhere from acidic and sweet it's a light body, crisp, almost amber-like. It just It's a very versatile bottle of wine, and it's great, especially in the summertime. Of course, I'll drink it in the middle of winter. I'm not, you know, I'm not beholden to just the summertime to drinking it. I have witnessed that yes, many yes. old times. Now, it's just a great bottle of wine, and it goes wonderful with so much food. It's just, it's an easy thing to do, and it's a wonderful drinking wine. It is very versatile. I'd like to compare it to something in the middle between Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. Right. It's not going to be as oaky or buttery as a Chard, right. but it's not going to be quite as citric or tropical as a Sauvignon Blanc. It's right in the middle there. And Two Chefs actually has a very nice Pinot Grigio to go along with her excellent food. So Thank it's you. time for us to get in there and start exploring all this. Let's go get a glass. Nestled into a cozy table in a perfectly charming location, we are at Two Chefs Cafe and Catering in downtown Bensonville. That's correct, and some of our loyal viewers will remember we were here a couple years ago, paid them a visit, and we thought we'd pay them a return visit because we had such a wonderful time the first time around. Indeed. Wanted to check back in, see what was going on, see if there's some new items on the menu, and just to say hey. And we are saying hey. We're saying hey with a glass of Pinot Grigio, first of all, to start with. They have a lovely wine list here. And this Pinot Grigio is perfect, hits the spot, perfect, refreshing crispness, and a great way to cleanse the palate, prepare yourself for the bounty that is to come. And we're starting off with the cocktail and wine list here at Two Chefs Cafe and Catering. He's got some very interesting martinis here on the list, starting off with the Mango Politan. Sounds mm. delicious. Smirnoff mango flavored vodka cranberry juice, triple sec, and sweet and sour. Very refreshing for the summertime. Very splashy. Absolutely. And it's time to wine with the <laughs> wine list. And what a fine wine list they have here. So starting off with the whites, here is the Pinot Grigio that we are enjoying, the Stellina di Notte. Very exotic Italian name. Yes. You have to love that, and it is delicious. Delicious and crisp. But you can see they have all the white wine bases covered well. And then moving on here to the reds, they have some neat things, starting off with this red blend. The crew, Jeffrey and myself, are all big fans of any red blend where you have several grapes that you're pairing together into a magical blend of sorts. And they have at least one of those here to offer, which is excellent. And then you can see that the list finishes up with sparkling. I love having a little personal split of sparkling yeah. wine, either before, during, or after, <laughs> sometimes all three of those, uh, my meal. Uh, and they do offer that here. You can get a bottle of bubbly or a nice personal split. And then check out their house wines. This is a label that we have talked about before on this show, mm -hmm. and that is Copper Ridge. Just a reliable, consistent house wine. And for five mere dollars a glass, you certainly cannot go wrong. Indeed, all of their wine prices, by the glass as well as by the bottle, are unbeatable. Okay, friends, we can't hold back anymore. Let's get into this two chefs menu. Yes. So starting with their appetizers, you can see they have a huge selection of appetizers, all sorts of fun stuff here. 
Couple of things to mention. You see that we have several shrimp appetizers here. One that I've recently tried is their barbecue bacon wrapped shrimp. Absolutely succulent, mm. huge shrimp perfect barbecue sauce and then you've got the crispy bacon on the outside at a dollar fifty a piece it is a steal delicious on to the salad sensations here at two chefs they actually have 13 yes i said 13 different salads which really is a huge variety a in the salad salads. department i do love that and moving right along to their fresh made sandwiches here at two chefs very nice uh, compliment that comes with all sandwiches here. Of course, your choice of fruit, French fries, or sweet potato fries. You don't see that at a lot of places, and I love sweet potato fries. Oh, yes. They're a lot healthier for you. Steak burger sounds wonderful. Uh, BLT, and of course, they have clubs, Rubens, filet of fish and interesting down here at the bottom of the menu, sliders. Three fresh ground beef mini burgers served on fresh baked bun. All for six bucks. You can't beat that deal. No way. One of the most fun areas of this menu is what they call the comfort zone. Traditional, classic comfort food. How could you possibly go wrong? Fried chicken, homemade meatloaf, Yankee pot roast, and a chicken pot pie. All for an amazingly low ten dollars wow. underneath the comfort zone we have the bird's eye view these are the boneless skinless chicken breast dishes again super salad comes with each one and we're talking twelve dollars friends so an unbeatable price and then at the very very bottom we see the from the sea section and you will notice friends that there are no fresh fish selections printed permanently on their menu hmm. and that's done for a reason and that's because they are interested in having the ultimate in fresh therefore the selections change on a daily basis they're extremely proud of their fresh fish selections okay moving on to the last section of the menu now you'll notice here on the stir fry all stir fry dishes are sauteed in virgin olive oil and fresh garlic doesn't that sound delicious then moving down to the pasta 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 of course, they come with super salad, and you have your choice of sauce, marinara, alfredo, meat sauce, garlic, and virgin olive oil, one of my favorites. Yes, and then moving on to the grill, of course, you can get some excellent full slab or half slab of ribs, and of course, chopped sirloin, pork chops, and New York strip steak. So very nice, rounded out, well-selected menu. And Two Chefs also offers a daily specials menu. They have two soups. Today's special soups would be beef vegetable and cream of potato. They also have a special appetizer, and that would be their fresh homemade calamari. Mm. Again, being very proud of their seafood, as we had mentioned. Bob is very proud of his calamari. They do it both deep fried and grilled. They're both excellent. And then they have a Greek salad, various seafood items, as well as steak pasta and chicken. Today they also happen to have a sauteed calves liver for those liver fans out there of which mm -hmm. we know there are many. So right. even on this little specials menu there's a very nice selection all kinds of additional fresh choices. to introduce you to a very special member of the Two Chefs family. This is one of the servers here. Please welcome Evie. Evie, hello. Hi, how are you? Very good. How about yourself? I'm fine. Thank Please you. tell us your story about Bensonville history that you lived as um, a child right up the street here. What oh, did you Oh, yeah, used to I used do? to ride my pony down the middle of Center Street to go to another, well, a hot dog stand and that was like back in the day. You you can't do that no more nowadays. But yeah. I can't ride my pony anywhere you today. Yeah. I can't. You don't have one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Army but Trail yeah. Road, not real pony and friendly. You know what? Yeah. Remember when Big R and Tops used to be on North Avenue over there? I rode my pony over there to get my sister a birthday present in the middle of March, freezing cold. That's, I rode it that's over the best. there. Yeah. It's like. This is just fascinating suburban history. It, it really is. is. Oh, I never man. knew that Bensonville people who owned ponies oh, yeah. could ride them to Irving Park if oh, they wanted. Yeah, we did. We That's did. That's fabulous. We did. All right. So for not just an excellent atmosphere and an excellent meal, but for neat people who will serve you, such as Evie, you just can't be coming to this place. You have to right, come Evie? to two shops, they must, please. They must come here. Please.
The moment has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in the heart of Two Chefs, in one of their two kitchens here, and we're standing with not only a very beautiful chef that we're excited about seeing in action, but also the owner of this fine establishment. This is Bob. Again, some of you folks might remember Bob. We visited right. with him before. Sir, it's a pleasure to be back. Thank you for having us, and Chef Armando does an outstanding job for us, and we're proud to proud to be here. Wonderful. And I understand Armando's got a special shrimp dish he's going to prepare for us. Well, this isn't something special. It's just traditionally fried shrimp, but okay. everything here at Two Chefs is made from scratch. We peel it, we skin it, we devein it, and we bread it to made to order. We don't pre-bread anything, so as you can taste with your dinner in a few minutes, you'll taste the fine quality of our fresh fried shrimp. And what he's going to do now is just bread it the traditional way instead of buying it out of a box. Okay, so Chef Armando is going to take it away here. Peeled and deveined, fresh to order, and now we're doing the coating. Although it's a traditional dish, this does make it special that it's done so it so uh, personally for you. Difference too, you can actually taste the difference. I'm sure it's unmistakable. And this is also one of this evening's fresh fish specials. It's a brook trout that we stuff ourselves, and our stuffing consists of shrimp fresh dill, shallots, mushrooms, scallions, and a little bit of garlic with a bechamel, which is a white cream sauce, and fresh homemade Two Chefs rice. Then we'll stuff it, we'll bake it in the oven, we will serve it with grilled zucchini and a nice light white wine cream sauce. It, and you will be able to taste that in about 25 minutes. So what's happening now? Well, this is fresh Atlantic sole that we're going to bake and we're going to finish it off. We'll make the sauce with a fresh mushroom, fresh tomato, and a light white wine cream sauce. So you'll be having two fish, and with the shrimp, three fish this evening. But that was another fresh fish that we have. Also, we'll throw the trout in the oven, and Armando will start the sauce for the sole. Very simple. I think you have to have a permit to own a knife like that. Yeah, I think there is. I'm not uh, involved in the NRA, but. Yeah, it's like a licensed firearm, friends. <laughs> Look at him go to work on that, no problem. That tomato was no match. Virgin olive oil to saute everything in. So you have your fresh tomato, fresh onions, and scallions together with fresh mushrooms. Perfect. And this will be the sauce that goes on top of our sole. Now he's adding a white wine which we have a mixture of white wine and lemon, so we put that in our sauce. Beautiful. A little heavy cream, and that will be your sauce. That's perfect. With a lightly seasoned fresh fish, it's outstanding. Now we're going to be doing our pasta ratatouille, which is ratatouille sized pastas, and we saute fresh homemade Italian sausage. We've got the pasta in there is a fresh sausage, which gets sauteed in the olive oil, with fresh chopped garlic. Reducing our sauce, as you can see, so it's not liquefied, it's just a coating on top of our sole. This is gr grilled zucchini that's gonna accompany your, your trout. So if Armando's gonna throw it on the grill for us. I'm sorry. Quite all right. We'll just make cook it. We toss it in a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of seasoning to give it some flavor. Now that would be a nice menu item. You should just have the, the bacon platter. Yes. <laughs> like the $5.99. My God, I'd buy it. There's our fresh chopped garlic. Look at all that garlic. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You have to like garlic if you like this dish. Beautiful. And there'll be fresh, fresh spinach. It's a real simple dish, but outstanding. I'm always intrigued by how much that spinach will shrink. Oh, yes. So it's fascinating. And then we add our pasta, and we blend that all together. And then it comes with a, a Romano cream sauce, which he'll be making right now. And then that's good to eat as soon as he's done. That's beautiful. Right there. Beautiful pasta. That is our fresh marinara, made homemade from scratch. And some fresh cheese, fresh grated cheese. And then your dish will be complete. And then we're ready to eat.
Picture perfect. I had the, the, the baked sole with tomatoes, garlic, and mushrooms in a light cream sauce. Phenomenal. Absolutely. The, the cream sauce was so light, yet it was so satisfying. It just, I just can't describe it other than that. that you have to try it. The homemade rice that Bob had talked about is perfect spot on rice. And a wonderful vegetable medley, freshly grilled veggies. The whole thing was superb. Absolutely superb. Very nice. I would echo those sentiments with the brook trout. You remember this is what we saw Chef Armando stuffing with that amazing fresh shrimp and rice stuffing. Here we are, again, a light cream sauce, nice dill. Look at that dill. Oh. It's just singing. Dill sings. <laughs> Not all yes, herbs sing. Dill sings. It does. And it's uh, flaky. I just want to carve this open a little bit just to, again, show you folks this amazing stuffing that's in look and look how it just 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 flakes apart so perfect it's absolutely delicious bob mentioned the brook trout is a milder lighter style of trout and the taste is exactly that which is perfect look at the grilled zucchini fresh grill marks you cannot mistake that nope. and these just lightly coated with olive oil bursting with flavor so perfect and it's so fun to take the grilled zucchini and just go Mm. in the dill cream sauce. Mm. Wonderful. Fantastic. And friends, both of these dishes, again, the epitome of freshness. Yes. Literally, Bob will not have it any other way. That's, That's right. why these are not printed permanently on the menu. It simply depends on what the freshest catch of the day happens to be. And speaking of perfection, the wine pairing. Couldn't have gone better. Could not have gone better. The Pinot Grigio complemented both dishes so well. I mean, it was just very perfect palate experience for both the wine and the fish and everything on the plate. For sure. Yeah. And to look at these dishes and think that they were, oh, let's just look right at the special card here. Yep. Jeffers Baked Soul, twelve ninety five. Okay. You can't beat that. That's just crazy good. And then the lovely Brook Trout, thirteen ninety five. And after those lovelies, we enjoy the radiatory pasta. Its spirally shape interplayed so well with the light cream marinara sauce. And then the crumbly sausage was great with that tender spinach. And the shrimp, yes, the hand breading made all the difference in the world. The breading was perfection, and the shrimp had a juicy, flavorful pop. Very top-notch quality, but very low on the dollar side. Absolutely. We are a completely content. And for dessert, after a fine meal, we have our own homemade, Chef Armando homemade bread pudding with a whiskey sauce. We throw the bread pudding in the oven, then we make the fresh sauce to order, and he'll be making you the sauce, and then you can enjoy a wonderful bread pudding with some melted butter, some brown sugar, and then the good part, which is some whiskey. And no and that'll go right over your fresh homemade bread pudding. I know Jeff always has an open bottle of whiskey in his kitchen, but I've never really had it in the recipe. But, uh... <laughs> well, you have to ask just Jeff about that, but <laughs> here, there, that's the sauce that's going to go on our homemade bread pudding. Is that perfect, Bob? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And again, the bread pudding alone looks so succulent. Now you're adding this crowning touch? That's crazy. Crazy delicious. It is delicious. It's enough for three people to share. Beautiful. And there you have it, our homemade bread pudding. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually blown away by this dessert. This bread pudding is absolutely fantastic. It's, yeah, it's undescribable. I mean, the, the whiskey that finished it off, it, the crowning touch on this thing, it's just amazing. Yes. Absolutely amazing. And the spongy density of this bread pudding simply soaks up this whiskey butter yes. sauce and it's like a magic sponge. <laughs> it is. This dessert is fantastic, but we do not want to forget the other desserts they offer here at Two Chefs. That's right. I love that they offer a fruit cup. Again, very nice if you're nice. into that healthy thing for dessert, which mm -hmm. sometimes even we are. Once in a while. <laughs> Tonight we're not, but it's all good. One mm -hmm. more menu we'd like to point out. That's right. 
we have the kid-friendly menu. For the little customers. That's right, for the tykes. And look at this, $5.50 to feed your offspring. We, we love, love it at Two Chefs. chefs. It's kid-friendly. to spend a summer evening that's as lovely as this one than outside al fresco on a beautiful patio but a crowning touch right now is the man that we have here this is robert otherwise known as bob the two chefs guy i am i am that's true <laughs> this is the man behind the operation bob welcome to the show thank you welcome. pleasure to be on the show we're honored that you have a few minutes to sit down with us, literally just a few, because yes. you're running back and forth across the street. What's going on here this evening? Well, tonight is Wednesday's Music in the Park, which we have every Wednesday in the summer, June through August. And we have live bands across the street, and then right after, live bands at Two Chefs. It's a great event. It's in a great evening, too. So let's talk a little bit about how this whole thing got launched. When did you first get your feet wet in this crazy food industry? Well, many moons ago, but it was when I was 15 years old, and it was at the Holiday Inn O'Hare Airport. Well, how about this? And I applied as the bus boy, and the first day on the job, the pantry lady walked out and quit. <laughs> so the executive chef pulled me by the arm, said, you want to make Rubens and coleslaw? And I said, does it pay more? <laughs> it did, so I started there. And from there, I started cooking and going to high school, and by the time I was 19, I became the executive chef at the Holiday Inn O'Hare Airport. So wow. from there I had several other executive chef jobs and then we opened two chefs in 1986. We're in Bensonville six years. We were 19 years in Wooddale celebrating our 25th year. Very nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Very nice milestone. Very nice. Thank you. It is. Yes. yes. Yeah, so the food here we've been enjoying, you can see the quality First of all, just you know, visually looking at it, the taste can't be surpassed. We really have Thank our you. hats off to you for quality, ab absolute quality in the food and, as well as the atmosphere. Thank you. And you do it all. We were just looking at your buffet. Uh, you have that every Wednesday evening for dinner? Every Wednesday evening for dinner and every uh, lunch for lunch every day, Tuesday through Friday at a remarkable $7.95 for lunch. Wow. And when people hear $7.95, they've got to say it can't be that good. But really, it literally is fresh homemade from scratch, giving it away almost. You do a Sunday breakfast buffet as well? We also do a Sunday breakfast buffet from 9 a.m. till 3 in the afternoon. Uh, unlimited French toast, coffee, fresh Danish muffins, croissants, scrambled eggs, and we have a limited menu. Eggs Benedict, omelets made to order, pancakes to order, and some sandwiches. Okay, excellent. Very nice. And one last thing, just to round out the catering aspect, because again, Two Chefs really is like a two-headed creature, a nice creature, not like a Godzilla one, uh, a nice one. <laughs> but we've got the catering and the cafe aspects together. Tell us about some of the events that you've catered in the past. Well, we do every venue you can possibly think of. Now is our wedding and graduation season, so we're basically everywhere at the Merchandise Mart, we're in Willowbrook this weekend at the Women's Club. Uh, we're in Naperville next week, Chicago downtown and Ravenswood. So we go everywhere. Sandwich, Illinois in early, early September. So there's no radius that we do not cover, but that is our main business, is our off-premise catering for any event, corporate or social. Keys to success, clearly you have them. So we wish you and two chefs all the best. And you know, we'll be back. We will certainly be repeat customers. And folks, we encourage you to do the same thing. When you come here to visit, say hello to Bob. Thank Absolutely. you, I'll be here and I'll have my hands out. Thank you very much. <laughs> This is another one of our two chef's friends. This is Diana. We love this gal. Dear, how are you? Fine. Good. Good. What's okay. going on out here? Selling a lot of food, hot dogs, good music, good people, good of everything. Good. You having a rocking good time, oh, are yes. you? This is why I want to be with the music. Perfect. Awesome. Keeps you motivated. Oh, yes. Very. Oh, wonderful. What kind of grub do we have here this evening for the crowd? I have cheeseburgers, hamburgers, brats, hot dogs, chicken kebabs, steak and a stick, and corn and a cob. Wonderful. I'm looking at the prices here. Prices are very cheap. Unbelievable. Nothing is over $4. Unbelievable. We really love this location where yes. Two Chefs is. Such a quaint little corner, and it fits here just oh so perfectly. And perfect to have a little venue like this in downtown Bensonville. 
One of our favorite things is this outdoor patio. Look how lovely this layout is. We're right across from the Village Hall and by the Metro Station here. Perfect for pre or post Metro ride. That is correct. Stop here for some refreshments. at Two Chefs where the porridge of these fine bevies takes place. That's right. Very nice lounge they have here. Perfect. Please tell us what you love about Two Chefs. What makes it so great? Well, it's reasonable. The food's good. The people are nice. And, and for us, we park here, we go to the fest, and then we come back. And, you know, we then celebrate, and they have a music until whatever, midnight or whatever. Right, Rose? Yep. Good service, good food, great atmosphere. People are great here. Wonderful. And fun customers like you ladies to boot. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> a lovely restaurant is one thing, but what if you don't have a capable barkeep? Fortunately for two chefs, they've got one, and here she is. This is Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Hello. Welcome. You've been doing a fine job pouring us our Pinot Grisos this evening, and we thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Great. One thing really appreciated is your attention to detail. Every round she's poured us, I've seen you inspect that glass. And yes. you know, there are a lot of bartenders that unfortunately really don't care about that. So we found that very refreshing to see that you did uh, pay that attention. Well, I feel it would ruin my experience if I was served a dirty glass. Yep. And then, then what else is, you know, unacceptable to eat with? So. How do you enjoy working here? I enjoy it. And my favorite thing to say with serving food is that I've been here almost five years and I enjoy the food still to this moment. And you really have a nice vibe here. I mean, in the lounge as well as yourself. Yep. Keeping it up. Yes. Love the vibe in the lounge here. We love it. We love it. it. Everybody's so friendly, and it's easy to just have a great day every time. So it's excellent. Very well, good. Thank you so much. On that note, we'll let you get on with your day. Thanks for spending a <laughs> thank few you, moments Thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate it. Another handy and oh-so-dandy thing they have here at Two Chefs is what's known as the shot pack. That's exactly as it sounds. It's a pre-mixed shot in a handy little pouch nice and chilled as you can see and what's so neat is a gentleman here who's the distributor of this product said that two chefs is one of the first to latch on and offer this at their establishment so bob the owner blazing the trail for this right. fine product it will soon be really taking off though because walgreens has just signed on That's to correct. stock this fine product so keep your eyes open for the pre-mixed shot pack at a walgreens near you or we say better, yeah, just come to Two come Chefs here in and check it out. Sit on a patio with your shot pack and life is so good. Well, you know that Jeff and I have been all over this place, inside, outside, flitting about ever so happily. Yep. And now we finally settle down back in the dining room here at Two Chefs to start to wrap things up. What a marvelous time we've had. It's been an amazing evening, just from start to finish. Just been one surprise after another. Just delightful. All sorts of variety here at Two Chefs. Any experience you have here will be a great one. So we encourage you, one and all, get to Two Chefs, indulge in this joy for yourselves. Again, that is Two Chefs Cafe and Catering in downtown Bensonville on Center Street. Absolutely. Well, until next time. Cheers to you all. Oh